Hi everyone, welcome to my tropical tiki garden tour. I wanted to share with you how I transformed my plain boring garden into a tropical paradise here in the UK. I'll be showing you some before and after pictures first and the work that was carried out and then I'll get on with the actual garden tour. I've included the names of the plants. There's a few that I'm not quite sure of, of the variety, so if you know just leave a comment below. Here's the garden just before the renovation started. Looks pretty gloomy. And here's what it looks like now. You wouldn't think it was in the UK, would you? Here's the original plan that I made for the garden. You'll have to excuse my rubbish Photoshop skills. When I first moved into the house last year, this is what the garden looked like. It was uneven, there was barely any plants and just a tiny concrete patio. So the first thing I did was I removed the ivy from the back fence, sanded the fence and then painted it. And I also cut back the choice here. The next job was removing the shed and then just continuing with painting the fence. I also had the large fir tree removed as the roots were causing damage in the garden and it also blocked out a lot of light. Here's the March snow just before the renovation started. You can see the wooden sleeper edging going in here. Here's my new shed where some of my tropical plants will be spending the winter. Here's the little bar I got from eBay. I wanted to customise it to give it more of a tropical feel. So the first thing I did was to stain the bar in dark oak to give it a bit of a rustic look. It already looked much better after just a couple of coats of stain. I then applied a thatched roof. I decided to make some signs for the bar out of scrap wood that was left in the garden. I named the bar Conyor Cove after my Conyor Marvin, who you will have seen in some of my other videos. I hand painted the signs with acrylic paints and then varnished them to make sure that they are weather resistant. Here they are on the bar, joined by the magical fairy lights. That's enough from me, I hope you enjoy the tour.